Good afternoon. My name is Leo Tabak, owner and operator of the Golf Performance Academy, and welcome to our series of bunker play. I'm out here. In the, I'm out in the fairway bunker, approximately 123 yards from the flag stick. I have a slightly downhill lie, and let's talk about fairway bunkers. And same rules apply in fairway bunkers of not soling the club. You can't touch the sand before you swing, nor can you brush the sand as you start your swing. That would be a two-stroke penalty. But when we're in the fairway bunker, we also want to just get out. We want to make sure we get out and put the ball back in play or, or as close to the flag stick as possible when you're in that situation. We use a longer club than we normally would use, one club more. We're going to hold the club shorter. We're going to set our feet into the sand so that our lower body is quieter. And when you settle it into the sand, that's why you hold the club shorter. But you'll use the same routine that you use on all your shots by walking in from behind the golf ball. This particular lie is downhill meaning my right shoulder is going to be higher. I'm going to position the golf ball further back in my stance. And the purpose of fairway bunkers and using a longer club is not to make a hard swing as you would in the fairway. You use a longer club, the bottom is quiet, and you hit the ball first. So let's just go over that one more time. After you've apprised yourself of the angle of the lie of the bunker or the lie of the land in general when you play, use a longer club. We're going to hold the club shorter because we settle our feet down into the sand. Due to the fact that the golf ball is higher towards our right side, that our right foot is higher, the ball will be placed further back in our stance. That's going to allow a descending blow. Our objective is to keep our bottom quiet, place, a little, place some weight on that left leg, hold the bottom, arms and hands only. Use this tip on the golf course and the score goes down. Have a great day.